Hello, my name is Zheng Qingguan, and I'm a master student from Fudan University, China. Today, I'm going to present our work, Building User-Oriented Personalized Machine Translator based on user-generated textual content. Machine translation has been a very useful tool to assist multilingual communication and co cooperation. In recent years, by taking advantage of the exciting developments of neural networks and deep learning, the accuracy and the speed of machine translation has been continuously improved. However, most machine translation muscles and systems are data-driven. They turn to select a constant response presentation in training data, where a user performs linguistic style, which is important for translation comprehension and user experience is ignored. For this problem, we aim to build a user-oriented personalized machine translation model in this paper. The model aims to learn each user's linguistic style and generate the personalized translation results utilizing several state-of-the-art deep learning techniques. However, building a machine translator that considers users' performance in linguistic style is a challenging task. First, it is not easy to change the linguistic style while retaining the semantics. Second, there are lacks sufficient personal data related to linguistic style to train a user-oriented personal translation model. Third, what kind of sentences and words need to be personalized is unknown. The both backgrounds motivate us to propose a four-step workflow to solve this problem. In the first step, we perform an empirical study. We use the UGTC of social media platforms like social network sites and online communities as the crawler to learn users' linguistic style preferences. After collecting and reprocessing data, we randomly selected 1,000 users' posts as our dataset. We used the back translation to construct a parallel training dataset. In addition, we built a classification model to test whether general translation results and Weibo posts differed in linguistic style. The results suggest that most general translation results and the corresponding Weibo posts can be classified correctly. In the step 2, we propose a user-oriented personalized machine translation model. The architecture of our model and its training procedures are shown in the figure. We use the left C2E models to prepare training problems, and the right side is a components of translation generation and personalization. It contains two transformer-based models. E2C models and C2C models. E2C transformer is essentially a general English to Chinese translator. Note that C2C transformer can only change the linguistic style of the general translation results, where the semantic should be retained. After building the model, in the step 3, we design a personalized machine translator prototype. The translator provides a systematic implementation scheme of a user-oriented personalized machine translation system. When a user utilizes the prototype, he or she first binds her or his Weibo account and authorizes the use of her or his post through the account and post authorization respectively. Then, by utilizing this post as a training set, the user-oriented personalized machine translation model is built. After that, the user can input the English text to be translated, and the model will read it into the E2C transformer and C2C transformer to generate the personalized translation result. The screenshot shows the home page of our prototype. In the step 4, we present the evaluation for our user-oriented personalized machine translation model. The automatic evaluation aims to evaluate the personalized degree and accuracy of the personalized translation results in comparison with journal translation results. We evaluate the personalized translation model by the common use metrics for personalized language model evaluation and the machine translation model evaluation. These metrics include personalized degree, blue, and perplexity.
The results indicate that our model can generate more personalized translate own results by learning users' language style preference from their Weibo post. In the human evaluation, we recruited 31 participants. Then we made an evaluation page to provide some source text and the translation results to participants. The participants need to give feedback regarding the metrics and questions. The two metrics comprehensibility and linguistic style consistency were drawn on a five-point scale. Besides these two metrics, we also presented two other questions to them, the performed translation result and the reasons. The final design of the human evaluation page is shown in the screenshot. The result jointly suggests that the personalized translation results have better comprehensibility and the linguistic style consistencies versus journal translation results. Finally, we analyze the reasons provided by users for choosing or not choosing personalized translation results in evaluation. The strengths of personalized translation results reflected in users' response are summarized below, like better comprehensibility, more natural, and the lack of fluency and lack of accuracy were the major problems of some personalized translation results. Now, let's talk about the implication of our work. First, the future design of machine translation models and systems should consider linguistic style as an important benchmark. Second, in our work, we find there is a trade-off between some objective indicators and the linguistic style consistencies in the design of machine translation models and systems. As an exploratory study focusing on the user-oriented personalized machine translation, this research serves from some limitations in data preparation and model building and evaluation. Thank you for your interest in our paper, and I would be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.